What is goody, everybody? It's full time trip, and we're back with the player ratings for Arsenal versus AFC Bournemouth. Uh, another really, really strong performance from us uh, away from home. Uh, took all three points. Pretty, pretty good uh, performance overall. Some great goals scored. Uh, really, really good stuff all around. Of course, I got Stay Ghosting and Timo Too Good with me. What's going on, guys? What's, What's good? going on, bro, bro? Hey, man, we're feeling good, feeling good. All three points in the bag, top of the league. You know what I'm saying? It's not bad right now. It's not bad. The, the air is fine right now up here. But we're going to go through these player ratings really, really quickly and uh, just kind of give uh, our perspective on the game and performances from uh, the Arsenal team, starting with Aaron Ramsdale in goal. And I'll start with Timo. Okay. Um, honestly, uh, I think he was kept pretty quiet today. Um, I'm not sure how many shots Bournemouth did manage to muster up on goal um but when he was called into action i do recall at least three saves i know a header from Kiefer moore came in mm -hmm. uh there was a close rate i think there was a shot in the box somewhere um so when he was called into action pretty brilliant um outside of that i can't really think of any too many mistakes here and there um yeah i'd give him a i'd give him an eight mm -hmm. uh, nothing crazy nothing yeah. nothing I, I obviously think it is quite high but he was again yeah. left kept a clean game. sheet you know Yep. Exactly. Exactly. So Can't complain about good. that. Can't complain about that. I know. I know. G might want him, but we'll give you Ben White. Not for me, yeah. Yes, yeah, you. Mm. <laughs> one day he's going to see Ben White. I can't lie, yeah. I said I keep saying, referring to the week before. Every time I do these like ratings, yeah. But mm -hmm. this guy, he just with each game, I feel like he's improving. Like today, I can't really. Like, apart from when I maybe dash downstairs to open a door, I might have missed something. Mm. But overall, I don't feel like Ben White really stepped wrong this game. Like, he was getting forward. He was mm. trying to get in them crosses. He was defending well. And I feel like he just done a good job. Like, for him, I will just give him, like, a, a solid... Just a solid seven, really. Like, I wouldn't yeah. say he done anything crazy mm. or an assist yeah. or goal or anything like that. But he done yeah. his job. To yeah, a I hear that. I, I hear that. I hear that. I feel like there was definitely points where he could have did better when he had all that space uh, towards the first half where he just had all that area to kind of whip across in. He had a few chances yeah. to do that, and it wasn't the best. But overall, I yeah. think he did a pretty good job, man. If some people were on the end of some balls he put into the box, there would have been goals. So, yeah. you know, overall, yeah. I think it was a good effort from him, man. Good effort. Uh, um, I will go next, and uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to skip a line a little bit. I'm going to swap. I'm taking Saliba, bro. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I'm taking Saliba real quick, son. Yeah, I'm loud, taking bro. Saliba. Let me speak, man. <laughs> Hold on. Saliba Rolls Royce, bro. Saliba Sangria is smooth, man. Going smooth, bro. You got to be kidding me. First and foremost, great defensive great defensive performance, bro. I think I said this uh, before the season started. I, I think at some point he will be Again, like I said, I'm using the vocab word, the, the linchpin, the person that's the last line of defense, that, la that last man that shores everything up. He's been doing it to a T so far. He gives Gabriel license to run. He gives White the license to run into space. And it's still that level of safety that you felt, bro. Saliba's been immense so far this season, had a great game today, was locking down things left, right, and center when, you know, when when things weren't happening on the, I think he was next to... uh. My instance where he was next to Ben White, and then Ben White uh, yeah. missed something, Saliba locked it down yeah. immediately, immediately, and he just sent it right back to Ramsdale, 100%. And that's just yeah. beside the goal, bro. This absolute <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh my. Good gracious, God. Oh, this man This man got the sauce, bro. He got the sauce. Shots from outside the box. That's like that's like, that's like like Vincent Company hitting goals. I know the title ain't on the line yeah. or something like that, but it's like, yo, yeah. it's like that type of thing where he got that in his locker, bro. Every now and again, he gonna pull that out, bro. He's different gravy. I'm telling you, he is in that conversation for young player of the year. Book it right now. Bookmark this right now. Bookmark this clip. And I'm telling you right now, he will be in that player, young player of the year conversation. And honestly, at this point, I think I think he will be top two considered. Top two players considered. It'll be him and somebody mm -hmm. else. I don't know who exactly, but it's gonna be him or either a Martinelli or somebody else from another club. I don't know, but rating. I'm gonna give him. Uh, damn. This is tough because I got one more person I think is man of the match based off of the contributions. But I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Saliba. I'm giving him a, a nine point five. I'm giving him a nine point five. I'm kind of breaking the system a little bit. I'll give him points, but it's fine. Nine point five out of ten. I, I, all I right. Can do that anyways. You run that one. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's, let's keep steam rolling through it. Uh, I give Timo. I'm gonna give you Gabriel Magalhaes. All right, my guy Gabby. Oh, 
How mm. many Gabbies have we got in the squad now? Too many, too many. Um, too many. So let's go with Gabby M. Um, Gabby M, um, when called into action, pretty much distribution was fair. Uh, don't see too many misplaced passes. Um, it's funny how I can actually go straight to passing than defending because realistically mm -hmm. that back line don't look like they struggle too tough. Mm -hmm. um, I guess when called upon, didn't really look too busy. So mm -hmm. I'd, I'd like to give him maybe a six. It's not so much in regards to how the game played out for us. I just think when you're not called into action and you're playing the right passes, um, I can't really look at you from a defender's perspective. I almost look at you as somebody mm -hmm. that's creating from deep or just clearing chances that are coming over the top um yeah. I, I i like i like to think with the um addition of zinchenko and obviously playing um ben white um inverted mm. it allows players like gabriel to kind of push forward and break lines and honestly i didn't see any any problem in that this in this game so yeah i'll give him a six yeah, that's fair. I would again for the clean sheet, a little bit boost. I would have gave him a seven, but I can understand the reason. I can definitely understand the reason. Yeah. It wasn't too much he had to work with necessarily. And yeah, when certain exactly. things came came his way, I, I yeah. think he, I, when certain things came away, he dealt with it pretty easily. But I think that was yeah. again out of three. I it's probably think, what it's I probably think, the better game I, out of the three games he's played so far this yeah. season. I think when I look at it from, uh, I guess from my perspective, how I look at it is that mm. I'm so used to seeing Gabriel perform well. So yeah, it's a thing <laughs> where like. He got to break the standard. Like he's got to break his average. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. not. Yeah, exactly. It's like mm. I didn't feel like he really shifted into you. second gear today. He didn't have to I hear do you. that. That's why nah. I, I, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. All right. Uh, uh, G, we're gonna give you Alexander Zinchenko. Zinny. Zinny. Zinchenko. He had a good game. I'm not gonna lie. He had a good yeah, game. I feel like, like him. I don't know. Like we was talking about it during the game. Like his technical ability. Like from the ball control, making the right passes. And I noticed he does, um, like, when the ball comes towards him, like, when it's in the air, he does a lot mm -hmm. of headers rather than, say, trying to, like, take it down and then mm -hmm. pass it. And these headers, they're accurate, like... Accuracy. Yeah. A lot of man, I can't lie. Some people, when they do headers, they're kind of windy. Mm -hmm. And it's just, like, it just looks like, bright. It's like, we don't even know who's going to get our player orders. But him, mm -hmm. he's, he's a very solid player. I feel like attacking and defending today... He done well. There was probably mm. one point where he could have got caught out, but Bournemouth flopped the pass. Yeah. Shout out uh, them, man. Yes, yes, Anyways. Yes, yes. <laughs> but <laughs> overall, I'm going to give Zinchenko a... I'm going to give Zinchenko... I'm going to give him an eight, you know? I feel like he done solid today. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, give him an eight. Fair, fair. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Uh... Thomas Partey, uh, it was interesting seeing him today in certain instances. There were some passes he just kind of let go. But overall, I mean, there wasn't much for him to work with necessarily. He wasn't the most uh, prolific out of the two, uh, again, uh, super central midfielders, not, not in the advanced role. So out of the pivot, I think he was uh, probably the uh, the lesser of the two in this match. I feel like Jack kind of got the better of him. But you can, I can get to his rating later uh, in that performance. But still overall, again, just took care of some things, uh, cool, cool to the touch. Uh, was comfortable in possession, making certain things happen. It was just certain. It wasn't enough for the usual cutting balls that he made. Like I didn't see as, as many of those this game as I did last. So I mean, yeah. I'm I'm gonna give him a six. I'm gonna give him straight up, straight up a six. I think yeah. he could have did. Yeah. More, he could have been more pronounced on the game personally, but you fair. know, that's a fair analogy. I feel mm -hmm. like um, yeah. with Partey, um, with what we've been able to, I guess, gain accustomed to, yeah. and uh, just overall. Um, we saw Jacka breaking passing lanes. Mm -hmm. You know, we saw Ozil do a similar. We even see Ben White try, uh, Gabriel try. So yeah. From a perspective of uh, the ability of those players to have the freedom to do so, mm -hmm. um, I just gave Partey a bit of a, you know, a breather. You know, so yeah, yeah, I mean, literally, it's like it's not it, much for him to do because they were kind of doing his yeah. job for him in a sense. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Just had to hold the wheel. Just had to stand mm -hmm. ground. It didn't do too bad. So yeah, six. I yeah. think it's fair. Pretty simple, pretty simple. All right, Timo, I'm throwing it back to you for Granite Xhaka. Oh, boy. My guy, Granite. Lead mm. foot, lead boot. <laughs> My guy. So, um, Granite, honestly, um, My cousin. I'm going to refer back to Zinchenko on this one, but mm. I think the interchange between the two have been so prominent and so, mm. I nice. guess, instrumental. Effective. How we're, yeah, effective as well. In mm. terms of how we've been able to play, um, mm. obviously we've seen Jacka play 
as the holding midfielder for many a year. Yeah. Um, hasn't necessarily worked in his best favour because he hasn't had the sort of midfield that will allow him to really thrive in that role. Mm. Um, but I guess just seeing the off the ball runs, um, the commitment to the cause, he's winning, like he's pressing very high up the pitch now. Yeah. Um, it's it's beautiful to see in a sense where you wouldn't normally find him in the positions you found him scoring in against Palace. Mm. And then obviously today, again, in and in, in around the end of things on set pieces and always looking to contribute. I know that one pass into uh, Jesus almost, almost ended up in a goal. Like, yeah. Uh-huh. Like, I think it's an overall solid performance. I like the trajectory in which his performance is coming in now. Um, and ultimately, I think he's, look, he's an asset to the club. He's yeah. done, I think he's done the whole, he's gone through the whole period of like, okay, um, you know, the, the, the bad has kind of, kind of gone yeah. and left. And mm. obviously, I know a lot of people have obviously watched all or, um, all or nothing, but you kind of mm. get the idea that he is generally the captain of the club. Yeah, um, man, without I the armband. Odegaard, I know Odegaard obviously has the armband, um, but from the overseeing perspective, um, just being able to look out for even the youngsters because Odegaard's still pretty young. Mm-hmm. Um, Agreed. Yeah, Jack has been doing great. So based on today's yeah, performance, I'm giving Jack a seven. Um, yeah. I think he did. Probably. I think he did pretty well. Um, yeah, I look I forward to more performances like that. Yeah. I hear it. I hear it. I agree. I feel like he's definitely turned a corner for the club. And it, the fans were chanting his name today. They were, they were giving yeah. a chance for his name today, bro. And it, when's go. the last time we heard that? You know what I'm saying? It if we possible. ever heard that. So, it is possible to turn it around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's crazy, crazy yeah. redemption arc happening so far. But let's throw it back to you, G. Uh, we're going to give you... Uh, I will give you Bakayo Saka. We'll go with Bakayo Saka. Bakayo Saka. Mm. Let's let's first first give a shout out, you know, hundred prem game, little Facts. round of applause. Facts, no baller. Facts, but I will say, despite him not scoring, and obviously people are probably expecting goals from him like every game, especially after mm. last season. But yeah. I feel like with our with our like attacking players here, in terms of like Jesus, Martinelli, Odegaard, Saka, I feel like they're players now where. Even if it's a game where, say, Saka hasn't scored or Jesus hasn't scored, you can still, like, respect the work rate of them players. Like, him, oh, like, constantly 100%. running in behind, taking mm-hmm. on yeah. players, or even just being in, like, high threat areas to distract defenders. Like, yo, he's there. We've got to keep mm-hmm. an eye. Like, he done his job. And fair enough. I know he probably wanted a goal and assist knowing him. But I still feel like he done very good in terms of even like tiring out their defenders, constantly having to chase him. Mm-hmm. About, 40, about 45, factors, they like, had to swap, like, three players. Yeah, like he, mm-hmm. he done well. Like he done a very yeah. good job. Like there wasn't anything mm-hmm. like I could point out that really made me think like, yeah, that was kind of sloppy, bro. Nah. He done he done very good. I would give him oh, a. I think it was a neat performance from him. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll give him a seven to be honest. I yeah. think like, if he, Saka, if... I think with Saka, I think it's a thing where you're now on that like, he's now a target. Yeah, one hundred percent. I think when you look at his first two full seasons. People are still getting used to the fact that okay, this guy's a he's a scrawny, um, yeah, like, like he's a Look. scrawny Euro, um, Europa kid, you know, just yeah. trying to find his way in the Arsenal ranks, and um, you know, he's mm. he's trying to make a name for himself. Oh my God, fire off! Sorry, guys. Um, oh, no, you good, dude? Yeah, just just in a sense of, I think now people are now getting a hang of his game. They want to mm. now double down on him and. That's another puzzle for him to find. It's, a, it's another puzzle for him to figure out as a labyrinth, you know? Thanks. I think on a on a on a basis of if every player was literally down to, you know, um goal or assist every game, or even pre assists and whatnot, then we wouldn't be able to like enjoy players like Ronaldinho who didn't necessarily do that every game. Yeah. So I, I think it's a thing where if you can look at Saka and look at how well the team are playing you won't necessarily give him a poor rate. And I know the first two games were obviously a bit of a different um, a different scope, like a different way to view the game. Mm. I think based on today's performance, it's definitely a thing where, he, you know what, he's going to adapt. He's going to adapt over being marked down, marked down by two people, might have an overlapping run from Ben White more often than not, find himself in a box, find himself on the end of a goal, people are going to celebrate, you know? Yeah. Um, but like I said, the most important thing here is the W. So um, he's done his job. Can't complain. 
Yeah, 100%. And uh, they're definitely, the yeah. league is definitely going to compensate for the level of his ability. And he's just going to have yeah. to find a way to be more ruthless. That's fine. Find a, be, find a way through that block and be a bit more ruthless. And he's he's helping his team anyway, just being where he is, doing what he does right now. So yeah. I understand that 100%. Uh, all right, moving on to our captain. I got Martin Odegaard, man. I'm sorry. I, I personally cannot go through this match without giving him a 10 out of 10. He's my personal man of the match. Considering yep. what people were saying last week, how they were riding yep. on this man saying, oh, you know what I'm saying? He's not contributing. He's not creative. What is he doing? Da, 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 da. He comes out the gate in the first 12 minutes and scores two goals. He's all over the place, making Ramsey runs. He, he's tireless in the press. Again, great passes, pulling strings left, right, and center, man. He has shown why we paid that money for him. He's shown why, why and how he can, he can literally do such a good job in midfield, whether he's directly involved in the play or not. Whether he presses on a defensive end, whether he's pulling some strings on an offensive end, he can be everywhere. And today just showed, man, like he, I, I think one, he's a captain for, he's a captain for a reason because he has a voice in his game. You know what I'm saying? He might, he might mm-hmm. not just be a jacko, but he definitely has a voice in his game for one. And for two, yeah. he can create moments like that, bro. You saw how last, the last game before he didn't shoot when he was clearing the box. Oh, he shot today. He shot today. They felt that. Yeah. They, they felt that 100%. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fan, fantastic performance from him. Ten out of ten. He clearly, he's clear my man of the match, though. Honestly, great game, great game from him. Uh, I agree with you. Mm-hmm. I think All was, right. Uh, I think with Odegaard, it was, um, you know, um, Fabio Vieira's on the bench. Uh, mm. Smith Rowe's waiting in the wings. I think that element of competition at a young age, perfect. One hundred percent. Push him. Of, essentially, with the sort of DNA that Arteta is trying to build within the Arsenal team, nobody's place is guaranteed. Mm-hmm. He's had scrutiny over the last couple of weeks. That's the perfect response. That's what you want from your captain. Lead by example, you know. Um, and it's, it's even the fact that the, the two goals were in similar positions. You know, yep. like you said, against Palace, he'd have passed the ball. Mm-hmm. He literally had Jesus next to him on both attempts and scored both goals. So mm-hmm. there you go. <laughs> That's it shows reward, you. you know? It shows you. That's the that's the, the corner mm-hmm. being turned, man. But fantastic from him. All right, gonna keep pushing through to the last uh, uh what two people, and then we're gonna speak through the rest of it. All right, let me give you Timo. I'm gonna give you Gabriel Martinelli. All right. Uh, when I think of Martinelli, I think of two things: energy, mm. and then there's energy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, if you guys know, but they're both the same thing. I, and I he, be- has, he has. Times two of pretty much what anyone else. I'd beg to differ in saying that in the Premier mm. League there is mm. nobody that presses as heavy as Martinelli does. I, mm-hmm. I, I obviously people argue that Gabriel Jesus does that. I think Jesus has been doing that for a period. Um, mm. Seeing Martinelli um, from an attacking perspective, I love the positions that he was getting into this game. Um, yeah, really wanted to take the game down the middle in some in certain circumstances. You know, yeah. um, Jesus peeling off the left um, and. Un- unfortunate in some circumstances. Yes, um, the re- the finishing was quite rash. Um, did have a couple of opportunities that were very um, goal side. You know, um, mm-hmm. not so much in regards to um, the I guess the um, the power, but more so with the placement. Um, yeah. On another day, those would have been those would have been back in the back of the net. Yeah. Um, but from the from a perspective of pressing, from the very first whistle till he was subbed off did not see any sort of relent like he didn't relent he was constantly at it um mm-hmm. and, and i think in terms of the game plan where you're playing away from home you need at least two players that do that for you um for a full 90 minutes yeah. um his commitment today personally for me absolutely spot on um like i said unfortunate not to get on a goal sheet um still has two goals from the first three games so he has everything to be proud of i'm pretty sure he's going to secure himself a world cup spot if he keeps doing what he's doing um mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I'd give him a 7.5. 7.5, 7.5, word. And on to the last player from the first 11, the starting 11, uh, we got Gabriel Jesus ghosting. Let me just start by saying I'm going to give that man an 8 before I even give any Mm. form of breakdown or analysis. He's (laughs) getting an 8 from me. Let me just make that one clear. Because all three games that we've played so far, each game, he's had the same energy, the same intent, and each game, he has ripped team centre-backs in half from it. Like, this guy, yeah, that first goal came from him. Let's, let's not forget, that mm-hmm. first goal came from him. Like, the way, like, don't get me wrong, yeah, no, no, no disrespect to any, you know, short people out there, but he is <laughs> not, like, 
tall in terms of strikers, yeah. But the way he be holding off defenders, he's got a Bro. lot of strength. And even mm-hmm. like just his movement on the ball, like he's silky, he's tricky to deal with. Like I knew he was a good baller from when he's at City, like little times I yeah. see him play. Mm-hmm. But a lot of the things that I'm seeing him do now, because obviously I didn't really watch much City games like me. I mostly just watch Arsenal. Man, I got enough fam. I don't watch these yeah. next, man, <laughs> unless we face them. But for me, now that I can actually see like his performances mm-hmm. for us, there's a lot of things he's doing that I didn't know were in his locker. Mm-hmm. Due to him not getting as much game time as he probably won at City, and he is, yeah. he is a problem. Like he's actually like just like Saka. Like I said, he may not have scored, but the but fact he's... that he's in and around that danger area is a problem for you already. Because you got to look at him, you got to look at Saka, you got to look at Martinelli, and if you take your eyes off just one of them, that's the moments where like Odegaard might drop in and shoot, or even a Martinelli, or mm. you might just be so focused on all four of them. Saliba just next one like he did today, like. It's it's a problem. Like he is a yeah. dangerous footballer. I feel like at first when I heard Mandem talking about, oh yeah, he's gonna get twenty goals this season. At first I was thinking, ah, you might need to slow down. You know what? I'm backing you, man. You man are right. Hey. I feel like hey. he will get twenty goals this season. I feel mm-hmm. like it's possible for him because he, the way he gets into the box as well, it's like his. Obviously, there's a lot of effort, but when I'm watching it. It looks like there's no difficulty. It's like these defenders can't get near him, bro. And I really feel like he's going to do well for us this season. Mm-hmm. One, thing, one thing I'd like to add to what Gerson has said as well is with the way that we are playing at this moment in time, you, that you'd struggle to think of another striker that we were pre- probably even linked with um, mm-hmm. that could bring That's... what he has brought to the team. Um, in regards to let's say even like we look if we have to look specifically at his statistics and not even look at just the overall performance, um, he's got a number of assists and goals combined that contribute to pretty much every game we've played this season. So without mm-hmm. him, we, there's 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 no way we know where we would be right now. Uh, we don't mm-hmm. know where in the league exactly we'd be. Um, and again, if we're looking at the amount of goals that he may score this season, I'd even I'd even go as far to say he might hit a, a double digit number of assists with the way he's playing. Mm-hmm. You know, also um, props to him because honestly, it's not easy to press from the front the way he does, um, mm-hmm. and then still be invo- like heavily involved in um, the the like, the plays that are reaching the final further the pitch um, to obviously um, aid players such as Martinelli, Saka, and Odegaard. Um, so yeah, um, mm-hmm. honestly, I, I'm happy that we didn't go out of um, the Premier League. Um, I know Chelsea were obviously looking at him at a point. Um, Real yeah. Madrid had conversation, but he'd already sat like Edu did his homework for five months. You know, yeah. when you do your homework, you're already prepared for what happens next. And clearly, um, we're benefiting, we're reaping from those rewards. So I hope it long continues. Um, but yeah, Gabby J, um, great performance. Person, mm-hmm. heard that, heard that, heard that. Uh, yeah, I mean. At this point, subs real quick. Honestly, I give I would give all the subs to six. Honestly, at this point, everybody came on, did their thing. Um, looking yeah. at subs like KT came on, did a job, was pressing really heavy. Um, and yeah. Ketia had some good runs as well, good efforts from him. Sambi didn't really have much time to work. Uh, Tommy yeah. Yasu put some balls out. I think it was it was pretty good. Uh, Smith yeah. Rowe again had some involvement as well. But everybody, I, I give a standard six for them. Yeah. Um, I let's disagree. Yeah, yeah. Let's move. Uh, I mean, quick. The ref, the ref was like, hey, you know what I'm saying. Uh, um, surprisingly, um, I actually didn't mind the referees officiating this game. I know yeah. a lot of the decisions probably favoured Arsenal, but I feel like not even be, if I was a neutral, I think the the calls were pretty fair. Um, yeah, I feel like I, I mean, feel like a couple more yellows could have been given towards the end when they yeah. were like kind of stamping on us a little bit and like yeah, you yeah, know yeah, yeah. that that probably aspect is probably the only thing. If I was being ridiculously harsh, yeah, I I'd, I'd yeah. say yeah. I give, I, I give, Roy, I give him like a five, maybe he, four. He let the game, he let the game flow. Um, mm-hmm. He let the game yeah. flow fairly. I know there was a couple of instances where we were tackled, then we were badly challenged, and we started to progress up the pitch. So um, some players might stop. Some sorry, some referees might stop momentum, and yeah. uh, really just slows down the game. But it seemed like he liked the idea of having a free flowing game, which all referees should want to do. So yeah, um, yeah. Um, props to him. Don't think he had a bad performance at all. Yeah, I, I give him a five for that. I give I give referees a lot worse. I give I let him hold that. Uh, real real quick, you guys trying to speed through the rest. Uh, Arteta, Arteta today. How do y'all feel about him? I'm I, an eight. I'm I'm saying I'm saying a nine. Honestly, I'm saying a you nine. Saying nine. 
I'm saying a nine today. I'm saying a nine today, bro. I'm just saying, listen, he got the lineup. I, I like the the lineup was right from run, and you know, again, he gave them the, his the first team time to work. You know, you could you can complain about subs you did last game, but this game, I felt like they needed to kind of stay the course and you know, rem- maintain control and try and get that third goal. It happened, and then the subs were made, and then they just saw the rest of the game out, clean sheet. You know, not much you can say, but it was like, again very well executed from Arteta. I feel like the team did exactly what they was they wanted what he wanted them to, and it, it was a good performance overall. Nah, yeah, I agree. He was, sure. he was solid. Mm-hmm. I think and, more, um, it, sorry, go on. Oh, no, yeah, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say, I think the fact that this is the third team, the first team in over 10 years, well over 10 years, mm-hmm. that have gone three games without any changes, three and, and, and three wins, three, three wins in a row without any changes. To the to the starting team that starts the season, and mm. that, of the first two teams, one of them was a title winning team, and one was an invincible team. Yep. Um, bro, like that speaks volumes in a sense of how much trust Arteta now has in these players. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. that they are his players first and foremost. Mm. We have to address that. Um, and he's got everything down to a T. I think obviously having bring bring in um Zinni and um and Gabby. Um, you you automatically think, okay, yep, the levels have been raised. There is an expectation there, but there's also an element of, I know these players, I know how to get them to work properly. Um, I know, and then I know, I know the other players that I have had mm. for the last two or three years. So, yeah. adding those two and then allowing them to gel, bro, like Saliba's coming, like it's an it's a glove. <laughs> easy, easy fit. Yep, one hundred percent. I'm with you. Um, I'm with you, man. That's just gelling, bro. I was like we're we're at this point where it's it's starting to come together, bro. It's like you know we saw glimpses and pieces, but now we're starting to see what the full picture can be, and hopefully with more signings, you know, we really take it to the next level and and hopefully make a big big run this year. Yeah, man, one hundred. So yeah, that and uh, hey, fans, I give I give an eleven out of ten. The fans were ridiculous today. I would say. They they were chanting Saliba for like half an hour straight through halftime and all that stuff, and then he scored that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Fans were fans were great, uh, top to bottom. Uh, was was dope to see just through through the TV screen. You could feel it. You could feel just their enthusiasm on the game and away fan support is always dope from us. So it was good to see, man. But yeah, overall, good day, man. Yeah, y'all, y'all feel it was, it was pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. man. Hey, yeah. man. Like That's I right. said, I'm charged, bro. I'm about to go set up hey, the fireworks <laughs> outside. Oh my goodness, man! Don't please don't burn down your house, man, or anybody else for that outside, matter, bro. Outside, bro. Outside. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Outside. Just in case. <laughs> just in just in case. But that's all we got for the player ratings today. Thank y'all. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let us know how you saw the game in the comment section below. Uh, next game, I believe we have Fulham at home. So hopefully, it's no, that's more three points on the board, and we keep this run going. But hey, man, come on, you Gunners, we're doing good so Damn. far. Catch you.